as long as you're a good person, you're welcome here on my channel. People are just voting for what makes sense for their lives and their situations. I'm Billy Carney, I'm a gay man, and I voted for Donald Trump in 2024, 2020, and I would have in 2016, but I was out of the state and I couldn't, but I did spiritually. I grew up with Republican parents, family, so yes, that may have had a big impact on my thought process and decisions, but I do have my own mind, just kind of painting the scene for you guys. Recently, I've been dabbling with different YouTube niches, communities, and realistically, if they knew my beliefs, they'd never accept me. So I just want it all out there so people can accept me from the jump or not. And that goes with everything and anything. So here I am, I guess, making my own community of Slayers, Vampire Slayers, Slayer Tech, Buffy Fan. First off, I accept anyone that is a good person, but something so important about this video and my content moving forward is I'm really doing this on the behalf of other gay people in my situation that feel so silenced by the left, even though in the same breath they preach equality and acceptance. Also, I just want to top this video off with the only problems I have had in my life with people have been with gay men. Like, a lot of people ask me, like, but you're part of the gay community. I've only had bad experiences with gays, and there are a few that I've had good experiences with, but the majority, no. So finally, I decided to make this video because I can't go another four plus years not being able to talk about the things that I believe in. Not becoming a politician or anything, I just don't want to hide or feel uncomfortable to post things here on my social media. Follow me on Instagram, Billy Carney. XO. Before I get into everything, perhaps the core of this video is, do you understand that I'm afraid to be myself? afraid to completely be myself. To the point where I have to make this video, like, do you think that's okay? Isn't that against everything gays are for, liberals? And just trying to make it make sense to me, and it doesn't. I just can't be worried anymore about what's behind me in my video, seeing the Trump flag in my backyard, like, the amount of cropping I had to do because of this. It's just bonkers. Worried if you guys see the painted American flag on my garage and being like, oh my god, are they gonna, like, know because I have an American flag that, like, I'm for Trump. Which actually brings me to one of the craziest things where if a gay person puts an American flag emoji in their bio, that is to say that they're moderate, maybe independent, Trump Republican, for putting the American flag in our bio our country's flag. Also, I consider myself more independent, moderate, leaning Republican. I think anyone that's too far gone right or left are just weirdos. Like, how do you have no room in your mind to dabble or just have your own personality in there somewhere? Liberal in the sheets, conservative in the street. By the way, I live in my parents' house. That's them putting up the flag, them doing the garage. Maybe now that Trump is president, I can get just a smidge closer to being able to afford my own house, but I digress. Technically, I have talked about a bunch of this stuff in my Sweet Villain series podcast that I ended up cutting short because it just wasn't me. I was like kind of, well, I was in my villain era and I was kind of playing the Sweet Villain character. Moving forward, like, it's I'm just me here. I thought I'd be actually more nervous making this video, but I'm pretty chill. Like, this is who I am. I do have more of a personality than this, but it's just a lot. And I've always been myself on the internet to a T. I just haven't shared this part of me. It's just gotten to the point now where the world is so different and it's just unavoidable, in my opinion, to not bring this up for all these points that I'm making and going to continue making. So what's probably held me back the most about making a video like this is I'm such a fan of people I love and stand hard. Celebrities, influencers, like I'm so inspired by these people and it deeply hurts my soul that 
they would never accept me if they found out the truth. And it's just really upsetting that the world is like that. Like being that 99% it it feels like are democratic liberals. Again, these are people that preach equality unless you don't agree with every syllable that they say. It's beyond and it's also mind-blowing that, again, basically every celebrity is democratic. Like, do you not see that they all have the same brain? Like, they're all just a herd. No mind of their own, just followers, sheep. But I'm so happy that the celebrity influence is dead. I mean, the queen Taylor Swift endorsed Harris, the girl wins everything, and even this didn't work. Every other big celebrity, the same thing, and it didn't work. That's just what is projected to us, like, on the internet, because they all, they all run it, and it's just really the bigger picture when you zoom out they don't run the world and i'm not even against like them promoting it people like say that isn't fair but then that would mean it wasn't fair for us to do this or for me to even make this video and if i could pick a way i wouldn't but with everyone coming forward and opening their mouth and these celebrities doing it it's not really a choice it's unavoidable now i have a couple stories that recently happened to share with you since i posted my support in this situation on my Instagram for the very first time. I have two kind of cool stories and one not so cool in the vein of me being afraid to speak up and tell my truth. There's this podcaster that inspired me so much to just A, start a podcast. I started multiple embracing Stan culture, and which has been a problem in this situation too, as I explained but for me mentally, and just how creative and smart he is. And he followed me a couple of years ago, and it literally meant so much to me because I've said this in the past, even in a video in my past podcast, he comes off very selective. For the pa- fact that he followed me, it just, I felt like, wow, like I'm doing something, which I should have known that or whatever. But also in the back of my mind, even then I was like, If he knew, he would have never done that. Not that I sit, like, looking at my story views, that's so 2014, but I post this for the first time, so I was being extra and wanted to see who would unfollow me. And he never looks at my story, but of course he saw this one, and I'm glad he did. I clicked on him, and I saw he unfollowed me, and I was like, damn. I realized that he blocked and unblocked me, and I was like, literally gutted so upset i have supported his patreon since it started i've listened to every episode of his shows his past show and i just been such a good supporter i've I've dm'd him so much love over the years and support i actually sent him a message of just how i feel how he's really inspired me and this is gonna suck that i have to stop listening to the show moving forward because i have to have respect for myself like you know he actually responded said he's just hurt and he followed me back again that meant so much especially in the moment Now I'm like, is it just like a pity follow back? I hate that it even had to happen this way, but all respect to him for doing it back because I am open-minded. I am understanding. I do get it. I get it. So that just, again, meant a lot to me and I am going to continue to support him because that's just who I am. I followed him back and hopefully... I don't know. I feel it might get to a point where he unfollowed me again. I don't know. But at that point, then we're just not meant to be, I suppose. So that was a good one. Okay, and then on the topic of the double standard and a not so good one, I posted this on my story after the fact of the last story. I've got a lot of support, like a lot of likes. I got a lot of support in general. And this white woman who I went to college with swiped up and wrote nope. I was like to each their own. I just don't have that kind of hate in my heart. Like people are voting for what they believe in for what makes sense in their life. And she just wrote as a gay man, me, 
she's disappointed and not saying you have to hate anyone like yeah okay girl and she said if you voted for him respectfully unfollow me (laughs) and this girl has a has healing artist in her bio she's a healer blah 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 what she said regardless of who you are and what you voted for it's weak to take the stands of indifference which like who are you to tell me what i believe is weak like it's just so i said it's clear to me you're coming from a place of hate which is fine like i said i don't have it in me it's your opinion you see it that way cool continue to divide the country and stay closed-minded my post is about community as a whole to bring people together so selfish stay healed and of course she blocked me didn't respond i was done with her anyways and i wouldn't have unfollowed her if she didn't because it would go against what the post said so that was that and i really really liked her she starred in my thesis project it's just it's sad to see the closed-mindedness it's really disappointing honestly i reposted that i blocked her information and i reposted that to my story and i was like kindly unfollow me if you can't respect other people's decisions america is so great because we get to make our own and one of the likes i got a lot of likes and a lot of comments nothing bad on that one actually i think a few unfollowed of course one of them who i followed on youtube who's kind of like me a lot and he's one of the people that inspired me like the podcaster so much that it would really hurt (laughs) if he unfollowed me on social media And I'm not going to say his name because I want to respect him, obviously. I feel like he could be watching this and I'm assuming he would know that I'm talking about him. But he's someone that I always had anticipation to him unfollowing me. So the fact that he liked that story repost meant so much to me and maybe even like inspired me to post this whether he now unfollows me i guess because i still don't know like i didn't talk to him about this like he just liked my story honestly i'm really sad for myself for having this mindset hoping that he doesn't unfollow me because i just want to be cool with him like it's it's so shitty it really is but that meant a lot to me thank you so much if you are watching this and i hope we'll be cool forever I love you. Always wanted to be cooler with you, but I'll take what I can get. Okay, maybe this is the most interesting example. Someone swiped up respectfully and genuinely wondering why I voted for Trump. We discussed it was not in a hateful way on either side, and it ended with him saying that he doesn't think I'm a bad person, and that really meant a lot as well, and it showed that two sides can communicate and i know from what i said he understood where i was coming from i mean if you have a brain and then he did kind of stump me and he asked i want to bring this up because i know this is going to be a major probably thing that people would comment if i didn't bring this up in this video but he did make interesting points to me that I never did my research on. With my response, like, I felt like I could have had a better response, so I'm like, let me do my research. I asked, actually, a a gay for Trump guy that I follow, because I always agree with his takes, and he made me realize to research the actual woman who accused him of the sexual assault, and i did and apparently she has a history of fake allegations and to me from the interview she came off like a whack job and said that rape is sexy trump denied it all the court system's corrupt too on top of it and all hate him so it's just really hard to even know the truth about anything and really now it dwindles down to one or the other and i never thought that biden and or harris were suited to help this country and they didn't they made it even worse trump is already getting things done in the first week 
before even becoming president. I'll put up here, like, the Hamas. Oh, it was in 48 hours. Putin with Russia, China, Iran. It's incredible. That's what you're against? Or so hateful about? What? I don't understand why he's so hated on. Next is the topic of a and then I'm gonna talk about why I voted for Trump and then we kind of outro this bitch but on the topic of abortion so the kid that DM'd me that was respectfully on the side of Harris also brought up the abortion stuff and how like Trump is pro-life and of course these people love to talk in extremes so in the case of being pro-life means that in the case of, like, like you'd still have to keep the baby. If I had to pick one, me, myself, personally, is pro-life because at the end of the day, you are killing a baby. Since you guys love to talk in too extreme, do you not think it's disgusting that you can terminate a baby six to nine months of carrying it? To me, like, it goes without saying. Of course, in the case of rape, incest, you should be able to get an abortion. And the ones that aren't for that are the weirdo middle Americans that I don't agree with. Yeah, they're Republicans, I guess, but I have a brain. And of course Donald Trump isn't for that either. I don't know if he's like put that on the record, but he's a fucking human. Of course he doesn't think that. You're telling me that Trump would be like, she got raped, she's having the kid. In She's having the kid. Of course he would be against that. Really? The people sh in those weird ass states should move? <laughs> I know that's kind of stupid to say. It's not that simple. But also realistically, they can go to another state and get the abort. It's not like they cannot do anything. As a person that leans pro-life, I do think it's important to install some type of fear or time frame so that these gross people aren't using it as like an after pill. That baby has a heartbeat and you're taking away its chance at life. It's gross. Okay, so why am I voting for Trump? To name just a few, tax cut, he clearly loves America, getting rid of the immigrants, putting up the wall, that's another thing I just can't understand. Like, you guys are okay with these murderers and stuff just, like, coming in. Diseases, killing people, eating the dogs. And guess what, guys? He is for gay people. He's not against gay people. The gay people are against him. And he's still not going to be against the gay people. All these freaking communities are just so selfish and believing in what's in the forefront of their minds instead of zooming out and looking at the bigger picture and what is more important right now. And it's just you guys are putting words in his mouth promoting fake news. He's a human being. He's not this evil, demonic person that is projected on him. You are the evil, demonic person. You're projecting your hateful ass heart on the Republicans and him. Then just straight up, when he talks, I agree. Mindfully agree. That is why I voted for Trump. It's so clear he loves the country, and I believe that he is going to do so much good. And I just, I don't understand how people don't see that. But yeah, if you made it this far, I really appreciate it, whether what side you're on. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new because yeah, moving forward, I'm sure that there'll be comments on this video that maybe I'll have to do more research on and I'd like to bring to light and just share my opinion on the situation and continue to educate myself, maybe you, or help in changing your mindset maybe just a little bit and if not at all fine to each their own i don't have that much hate in my heart and you can do what the hell you want to do but yeah i love respectful discourse down in the comments i'm highly interested to see what you guys have to say and specifically i guess 
towards my video. Tell me things, teach me things, open my mind. I'm here for all sides of the spectrum. If you're a radical left or a radical right, this is not the place for you. And I think you're a little weird for that. But yeah, it's Billy Bitch.